Hey yo, welcome back and welcome if you're new. So my name is Kimmy. I live in a single wide trailer with my husband. I think this was made in the 90s. It is 16 feet wide. I don't know how long it is. <laughs> it's three bedrooms, two full size bathrooms. We have a laundry nook, a living room, a kitchen, and that's it so I'm gonna show you our house today if you are new here leave a comment and um, at the end of this video I will read off a comment from the last video so I hope y'all enjoy this little tour also it's a realistic tour so this is not a show home it will never be a show home this is a lived-in trailer and y'all are going to see how we live every day all right so this is our back door um we use this door to come in we also have i don't know if y'all can see we have a shed outside but this is our back door this is right where you first come in the house you would see a washing machine and a dryer in this little nook area i have all of our stuff organized there and if we turn right we will go into the master bedroom which is not a huge bedroom but it is our bedroom and we like it so i've not done anything to the walls this is what the walls looked like when we moved in here and this is what they'll look like when we move out <laughs> our goal is to have a double wide trailer so we have twice the room um, but we are not really high maintenance people, so we don't need or really desire to have like a big house. Wow, y'all hear that wind? Anyways, so we are trailer people. We will live in a trailer forever because we kind of like it. So, this dresser was given to us by Aaron's dad. This dresser as well. This um, Aaron has had for a while, and this one as well. They're probably all from family, to be honest. A lot of our furniture is from family. The bed is a king-size bed, completely free. His mother-in-law, um, his mom, actually found this bed off the highway. Like, it fell off of a truck, and it was just sitting on the highway, still in its bag. So, she brought it to us, and we kept it. The comforter I have is from Ollie's. This is from the Dollar General. And the comforter came with the pillows. So, then we have our bathroom in here. Shower curtain is from Walmart. Floor mats are from Dollar Tree. And there's our little sink right here. It's not very big, but... That basket is from a thrift store. There's our counters and our sink. And hi! <laughs> That's from the Dollar Tree. This thing right here. Y'all can see it better over there. This thing is from Roses. And then these are from Walmart. Where I put all of our stuff. Because we don't have a bathroom closet. So that's where most of our storage goes in here. It's like an over the over the toilet thing but it just was really wobbly over there so that is our bathroom it's a small bathroom the other bathroom is the bigger one so <laughs> i'm being silly okay we don't have we have a space i guess for a hot water heater but we just use regular air conditioner units that go in the walls so don't mind this this is going to my mom's house it's full of herbs but this is a deep freezer i think we got it at lowe's a little trash can our refrigerator i think we bought it used it's a is that what it's called hot point i don't know what kind of refrigerator it is but i'm i'm pretty sure 
it was used. That's also a hot point. The table was free. I just painted it how I wanted it, more like a farmhouse look. So I painted the table in that chair and I've got three more chairs to go before I'm done. And I've already put some layers of polycrylic on there to protect the surface. Okay, oven, uh, it's an old one as well. White Westinghouse, I think we've had this oven for a while. <laughs> um, we buy most of our appliances used, so I don't know how much money it was, but it definitely, we didn't pay retail for it. There is our microwave, it's just a regular microwave probably like a $30 one and then our little counters I actually like our green counters I know that's weird but they really grew on me and I like them a lot so whenever we do move I'll I want to have green countertops <laughs> how silly is that okay so we don't have a lot of cabinet space so there's some over there where I put all of our pots and pans right there all of our food goes in these five cabinets and then our dishes go in these two cabinets and then that right there is for medication and things like that because we don't have a mirror that you can open and then of course utensils right there so we only have three pull out drawers which is probably the most annoying thing about being here is not having like a closet to put linens and then more drawers to put like utensils and stuff so I have all my utensils over there in a box <laughs> okay so this is the kitchen right here it's very open let me like walk over here so you can see what I mean like the kitchen goes directly into the living room and I love that i've heard a lot of people like i watch mobile home videos and a lot of people complain about how open the living room and the kitchen is but i love my kitchen to run into my living room i just I love open space it makes it feel like the home is bigger than it is so this is our living room as you come in these table the chairs aaron has had for a long time so i do think that's nice that we have a little bar area right here these are my plants. That is Chloe's butt. Um, most of my artwork is thrifted or purchased on secondhand apps like Poshmark. So those are from Dollar General. Those were purchased from my friend Lynn in her Poshmark store. Let's see, that pillow is from, I believe, I believe big lots and that one's from walmart that blanket is from burke's outlet that's the other one that goes with that let's see that is from hobby lobby it was 15 dollars on like a half off date holds all our blankets that's also from hobby lobby the farm fresh milk galvanized i love galvanized stuff so that was, I think, also like $15 at Hobby Lobby. That was $14.99 at TJ Maxx. The bookshelf is from Walmart. The TV stand is probably also from Walmart. And I was watching Survivor. So we have a huge TV. Um, I think it's like a 55 inch, I think. And. I'm pretty sure Erin paid less than $300 for it because it was a Black Friday sale a couple years ago. So we try our best never to pay full price for anything unless there's just a really high demand. Like our deep freezer, we had to pay retail because it was when the pandemic happened and there was just too much of a demand. My camera is losing its focus. All right. So over here, that's also from Hobby Lobby, the lantern. That was thrifted, that little wishing well right there. That galvanized tub is also from Hobby Lobby and all the yarn in it. I love Hobby Lobby. Okay, that thing, I don't know, right there. I 
it came before I was with Aaron, so we've had that for a long time. The little basket is from Goodwill. This blanket Aaron had a long time ago. The pine cones were free. He found them outside. And over there, I got those two candle stands for my birthday one year or for Christmas. That light is from his family. Those two right there are from Goodwill. These two, not the thing in the middle, but those two are from my friend Lynn. I purchased off of Poshmark. That I purchased for $2 at Goodwill. The Big Bear was $5 at Goodwill. I love getting home decor and everything mostly thrifted because it's cheapest. This did come from Hobby Lobby and I just painted it brown. Um, okay, so let me back up so y'all can see the room like in full. I'm not a very good tourist. <laughs> okay, so this is our living room and that is our kitchen over there and back there was the laundry in our bedroom. So the chairs came from Big Lots. We did buy them new. They were $400 each. I know. <laughs> we wanted chairs with cup holders. And he liked those. So that's what we got. The good news is the car, the rug was $120. But we got it for free. Because we had... Um, they gave us like a coupon or something. So we did get the rug for free. Which is really nice. Because we needed a rug anyways. This carpet is terrible. Like absolutely terrible. That chair was free. However, we love free. <laughs> I didn't even tell y'all. The chair right here was free. <sighs> Wonderful. Family members. Okay, so I love this door as well. It's so pretty. And I want a door like that in the next house we go to. So, a lot of stuff like that was I bought for my friends. Poshmark. So, it's a good, a really good mix of like... Free, thrifted, Hobby Lobby, <laughs> Big Lots, places like that. Okay, Erin just got a new kayak. So, we're, um, well, when y'all are seeing this, we're already back home. But, when I'm filming this, we're about to leave to go to Tennessee. So, he wanted to keep it in the house. But, it's okay. I can say that online because we're already home by the time y'all are watching this. Alright, so, this is the hallway there's some damage on the walls, of course. There's a lot of cosmetic damage in this house. Um, but we just haven't fixed it because we're not going to be here forever. Um, I'm going to show you Aaron's. <laughs> be forewarned, there is a lot of stuff in this room. This is Aaron's. That's my office, but this is Aaron's shop. We're going to call it a shop or we're going to call it a shed. And I'll explain why. Okay, so, I mean, it literally looks like a guy's, like, shed where all of his stuff would go or, like, somebody's garage. So, this is a really small, like, a very tight room. This is the second bedroom. What in the world? It looks like he bleached the floor or something. Okay, I'm coming over here. So y'all can see this room. Okay. So there's a closet. There's some of his fishing poles. Some more of his fishing poles. I'm sure there's some more fishing poles. That's what I... This is the fishing pole I got him for... Christmas. Oops. I don't want to break it. Christmas. I think. Yeah. A cag... Candace? I don't know. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. But this is just where he does all of his stuff. Like he has a Ferno 300 right there. Um, our electric weed eater. All of our stuff is in here. Except for <laughs> the other kayaks and a lawnmower. But like batteries. All kinds of stuff in this room. So it's not a room that is for being clean and looking aesthetic this is a tool shed <laughs> and a fishing shed because our shed outside this is the reasoning our shed outside is not waterproof it's got a lot of damage so we would rather his stuff be in here 
and be usable than be outside and just stay rusty and we don't feel like buying a new shed when we have a empty room that he can use for all of his stuff so also he's just out of the elements he can work in here and do whatever alrighty moving on all right so this is the other bathroom i was talking about and i told you all i did not stage this house so aaron still got the toilet seat up because this is his bathroom and I've got a pair of jeans on the floor and it needs to be vacuumed in here. And then there's our shower curtain. Somebody asked in the comments, for there just to be two of you, why is your house so messy? <laughs> of like, one, I don't think our house is messy. I think we just live here. And two, it's because there's two of us that live here. Like, that... I don't know. It was just funny to me. <laughs> okay, so this is my room. My humble abode. I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's nothing humble about having a whole room dedicated to just your stuff. But it is dedicated to just my stuff, okay? So I have my clothes right here. Also some clothes right there that are listed on my Poshmark account. Same thing with the rack. Some of it's for Poshmark. Some of them are mine. There's a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of Christmas decor in here that I just undecorated. <laughs> and a ton of paint because I just painted our table and a lot of candles. Because if you know me, I stock up our candles um, every December when they do Black Friday. And then I don't buy Bath & Body Works candles again until the next year. So... Anyways, let's see. Those paintings were thrifted. That was from the Dollar Tree. Let's see. Um, that was thrifted, I believe, the table. These these things were from Amazon. That table's from Walmart. The chair Aaron bought. I got this little rug for $5.99 at Ollie's. Let's see. That is Aaron's very old desk and then that shoe rack actually is from amazon and then that clothing rack was twenty dollars at ollie's oh, I love ollie's okay so coming back out of here so this would be another bedroom and this one is similar in size to our bedroom but i do think this one is actually a little bit smaller than our bedroom because it doesn't look smaller but that's because our bedroom has a king size bed in it and so it makes our bedroom look a lot smaller but going back in the hallway I told Aaron that I feel like a hoarder because I'm having to walk sideways with this kayak in the way he thought he could fit that kayak in his bedroom I mean in his office I'm like no sir <laughs> the best part about living here though is the view I love that mountain up there so there it is I think it's pretty especially in the fall when the leaves are changing colors and we always see all kinds of birds and stuff out here so I really just like the scenery and we do live on a hill so we can kind of look down at everyone <laughs> not literally we look down at them but not upon them, if that makes sense. Because <laughs> they are lower than us. Oh my gosh, I'm just going to be quiet now. <laughs> Y'all know I'm just picking right. Okay, so comment of the day is going to go to Betty. This was on the all day clean and cook with me mobile home cleaning <laughs> motivation. The bins in the laundry area look nice. Good call on that one. So thank you so much, Betty. Thank you everyone that leaves a comment. It really does mean a lot to me. And I will see y'all back here in the next video. It will be on December 30th. <laughs> okay, and then we'll have lots more cleaning motivation to come in the new year. I hope y'all have a great day. Bye.